What is the critical path method? How does it work? Why does it matter? And how do you apply it to your projects? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking all of this down for you, turning this seemingly complex concept into simple terms so that you can start using it immediately to deliver your projects on time, every time. So first and foremost, what is the critical path method, sometimes shortened to CPM? Well, it's a simply a technique for scheduling project activities. Think of it as creating a roadmap that shows the longest path through your project, the sequence of activities that determines your project's minimum completion time. Developed in the 1950s by Dupont and Remington Rand, CPM has stood the test of time because it answers three crucial questions. Firstly, how long will your project take? Secondly, which activities can be delayed without impacting the end date? And thirdly, which activities must be completed exactly on schedule? Unlike other project management methods that might seem similar, like PERT, Program Evaluation and Review Technique, the critical path method uses a single time estimate for each activity, making it more straightforward to apply in real world projects. So how does CPM work? Well, the critical path method works in six simple steps. Firstly, the identification of all the activities in your project. Secondly, the determination of the sequence. Thirdly, the drawing of a network diagram showing the activities and their relationships. Fourthly, estimating how long each activity will take, then calculating the critical path, and then lastly, using this information to monitor progress and make adjustments as your project unfolds. So why does the critical path method matter? Well, understanding your project's critical path gives you three major advantages. Firstly, it enables realistic scheduling. The critical path tells you the minimum time needed to complete your project based on the sequence of activities. Secondly, it ensures focus. So instead of treating all activities as equally important, you can concentrate your attention and resources on critical path activities. And lastly, it does provide flexibility. So for activities not on the critical path, you have wiggle room. This lets you shift resources or delay non-critical activities when necessary without compromising your deadline. Without identifying your critical path, you're essentially managing your project blindfolded, unable to distinguish between delays that matter and those that don't. So let's clear up some common misconceptions about the critical path method. Firstly, a project can have more than one critical path. If multiple paths through your project network have the same duration, they're all critical. Secondly, your critical path can change during the project. As activities finish early or late, what's critical can shift. Thirdly, CPM isn't just for complex projects. Even simple projects can benefit from understanding which activities drive the schedule. And finally, Gantt charts and critical path networks are essentially two different ways to visualize the same information. Modern project management software can easily show both views based on the same underlying data. So how do you apply CPM to your projects? Well, applying the critical path method doesn't require complex software. For small projects, you can actually use a simple spreadsheet or even paper and a pencil. Start by listing all activities, their durations and dependencies. Draw your network diagram, calculate the earliest start and finish times for each activity working forward, and then calculate the latest start and finish times working backward. The difference between the earliest and the latest times gives you the float. Activities with zero float form your critical path. For larger projects, software like Microsoft Project, as an example, can automatically calculate your critical path for you once you input activities and dependencies. 
The critical path method transforms how you can manage projects by helping you focus on what truly matters. Now that you understand the basics, you're ready to apply CPM to your own projects. If you want to learn exactly how to create a critical path step-by-step, -step, then check out the next video being displayed on your screen where I walk you through a real practical example.